Okay, so we have some nicely color-coded rooms for designers, artists, marketing, and programming. We have the same on the other side as well. And I'm totally realizing that I didn't actually put any lights in any of those rooms. So let's at least get, you know, some lights by the doors or something like that if we can. So we'll do that around there. We'll do the same on this side. And that way, at least, you know, they can see the exit. They got that going for them. Uh, these ones are very tightly packed as well. I'm worried that they might have trouble getting in there, but we'll find out. We will totally find out whether or not they can get into those rooms. Uh, they're not perfect. I'll be the first to admit they are not at all perfect, but they'll do the job. That's that's all I need them to do is to, to do the job for those teams. Can I color code a door? No, I can't. That would have been nice, being able to, like, color code doors and stuff like that, but... Unfortunately, that's just not a thing we can do, so here we are. Uh, I'm also thinking, I want to know what color that wall is. So the wall's that color. I want to go ahead and select this entire corridor and this one as well, because I want to change the interior wall color to that. Because I just think it looks a little nicer to be honest, to have a little bit of color on the outside of those. I think it looks kind of just, just better, really. So there we are. As for team leaders for both of those teams, because we are going to need them, we're going to need to get them some offices. So what I think we'll do is we could use this little space here for an office. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that real quick. So reset the grid, then anchor the grid to that wall. Let's get a little two meter end table here. So something like that should do it. We'll go for that kind of thing. Actually, we don't have to go for that one. We can go for the nice table. So something a bit like that. We'll get ourselves a nice swivel chair there. And we'll go for the laptop. I always like going for the laptop in the, the meeting rooms. I think it just looks a little bit better. Uh, we'll do a nice light there. And that's a really miserable looking room, isn't it? That's a really, really miserable looking room. Can we get like a nice bookshelf in there of some sort? So like that one. Uh, we'll do it like there. Then we'll go for some actual like shelves. We can do some shelves back there as well. And, I don't know, that, that should be fine for the time being. Let's put some, like, books in here. If I can click that, that'd be great. I don't think I can. Hold on. It's there. There it is. So we'll grab some, like, normal books there. Put some, like, colorful books up there. Get some magazines. We'll go for the novels up the top as well. And we could probably go for... Oh, we have the hollow computers now. I didn't realize this. Did not realize we had the hollow computers available. We might have to upgrade everyone to those at some point, but we shall see. Let's get that up there, and let's go for just a few more books around the place. Don't need too much. Go for a couple of magazines there. A couple of magazines there as well. And we can put a plant up there and be a cactus up there as well. And I think that looks all right. I think the color scheme needs to be changed a little bit, but uh, let's select the tables and let's go for... I'm thinking we're going to go for like a dark table this time, just to be a little bit different in this one. So select all of those and let's go for that kind of dark gray on those as well. The chair is going to be... I think we'll sort of go for like a, I think we'll go for like a strong kind of blue color here. And then maybe a kind of dark on the supports of the chair as well. Then the computer itself is going to be, I think the strong blue actually with some slightly darker blue keys. Yeah, that works. And then the lamp can just be sort of a dark as well. Maybe with blue lighting just to be all, like, edgy and whatnot. Uh, if we select all of these in here, we can change a lot of colors around here. Apparently including the plant pots, which is a bit weird. Let's make those, like, a white or something. Or, like, a dark kind of gray as well. 
Secondary in a lot of these can be blue. And then the tertiary can be like a yellow. Or an orange. We'll go for an orange on that. Yeah, that kind of works. Bit of a weird looking room, to be honest, but I think it works. I think it's it's definitely uh, definitely a unique one. Uh, so let's get the light just there and let's change this up a little bit too. So this is going to be blue and then sort of a dark stand. And the room itself needs some color. So the interior could be that blue as well. And the floor can be sort of a dark gray, I think. There we go. So that's one of our game dev leader rooms. And I actually think that looks kind of neat. I actually think that looks kind of neat. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the only issue is going to be copying it over to here. So let's see if that's a thing we can do. Because it's this is the easiest way to copy these rooms is to uh, literally just move them across the building. There we go. Although apparently, what's this? Not enough light. Add windows. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. That is not what I meant. Uh, right there. Okay, so that is going to be Games 2 and the Games 2 Leader. And then this is going to be Games number 1. So, Leaders and Games 1. Alright, I like it. I do like it. Let's go ahead and get some actual team leaders here. So, hire employees, leader, look for everything, spend a lot of money, and we want someone with good compatibility, preferably for, like, the core team. So, games one is going to be Alexis Peterson. You are hired. And then Basil Lopez can do games number two. Or not Basil. We'll go for Millard Hoffman. All righty. So both of those teams are going to need HR management. We can enable all of this stuff. We need to look at numbers as well first. So how many designers? So 15 designers, 15 programmers, 10, 10. So 15, 15, 10, 10. All right. So games one, HR management, uh, 15, 15, 10, 10. Uh, preferred age as low as possible. Salary is going to be high. Education levels going up there. We'll do cooldown of uh, six. We'll send people. We'll send six people for four months. That'll work. Obviously, can't actually do HR management just yet, but that's fine. Uh, we'll do the same here as well. So that's going to be 15, 15, 10, and 10. Do all that stuff. Nice high salary, and I believe it was six, six for four. And done. All right. So, Millard Hoffman, you are going to be the team leader, which is good. And you need to be done in HR management for six months. And then we don't do HR management. We go to Alexis Peterson. We say you are going to be doing HR management for six months as well. All right, so those teams are going to be ready to go fairly soon. And the good news is once they are ready to go, we are going to be in a spot where we can start automatically making Pro Evo slapping. We can start automatically making, uh, what was it, Mobile Quest? How did I forget Mobile Quest? That's shocking. Cannot believe I forgot Mobile Quest. But it happens. Anyway, we are porting Pro Evo Slapping and Mobile Quest 3. I'm curious to see if either of those start making money. Pro, oh my God. 10 million. 10 million on Pro Evolution Slapping. 8 million on Mobile Quest 3. And they're not even done. Not even done. Good Lord. Wow, that is some serious cash. That is some serious cash. I'm genuinely quite impressed. Like genuinely, genuinely blown away. That is insane. That is, that is seriously, seriously good right there. And they're both going out to more operating systems as as we speak. So that money could go up. 
it could be higher. I doubt it'll be higher, but it could be. Man, that is nuts. 10.7 right there, 8.4, so another bunch of money. That's, that is insane, okay. So that right there is how you do it. You get your games, you get your engines, you get them to be popular on one platform, and then you know what you do? You turn around and go, okay, you know, that was a general success. You know what else we should do? We should port it to literally everything else. That is nuts. That is, that is, that's seriously good money is what that is. That is, that is seriously, seriously good money. That's going to make it so easy to turn around and buy this other company. What's more is it brought us in, we're almost at 100 million fans. Like that's brought us in so, so many more new people who didn't have any, you know, appreciation for the company because the company wasn't putting anything on their platforms. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I can't believe that. I genuinely can't believe that. What's even better is like the original Tripe engine, we could port that to different systems and get the, you know, Mobile Quest 2. It's like, okay, you know, we see, you know, you guys, you know, you're interested in Mobile Quest 3. By the way, in my head at least, uh, Mobile Quest is like, they're, they're, they're sequels, but they're also like standalone things. So, like, you don't have to play the previous ones to get the new one. They're just like, it's like a really good set of mechanics. It's a really good set, like, this doesn't matter, but that's just in my head, right? That's why in my head it makes sense that everyone's playing Mobile Quest 3. It's kind of like Call of Duty in a sense. Basically, think of it that way. You don't really have to play the previous one to get it. Unless you're only in it for the campaign, which no one's playing Mobile Quest for the campaign. I'll tell you that much right now. I'm tempted to port Slap 5. I know I shouldn't, but I'm tempted to. Because for one, there's a bunch of phone operating systems it's not on right now. And on top of that, I mean, there's I just ported everything. You know, let's let's give let's let's do the phone operating systems first. Let's do the phone operating systems first. And let's make um Pro Evo slapping the priority when it comes to the porting for the time being. Because that's where the money is right now. So if we can get that on as much as possible, that would be nice. Although it is July, so I realize no one's porting anything at the minute. But I think we'll get Pro Evo slapping onto everything. Then we'll do Mobile Quest 3. Then we'll do Slap 5. Because Slap 5... Wait, it's not even on SOS. Why wasn't Slap 5 on SOS? What? What? <laughs> Why didn't they release it on SOS? What is this? I only just noticed that we're porting it to SOS. We didn't even put Slap 5 on our own platform? That's ridiculous. Also, interestingly, uh, October this year, Tripe Engine 4 goes out. And then December this year, Slap 6. So that'll be interesting. Uh, a lot of the core team still seems to be on vacation right now, which is... Probably why the porting of Pro Evolution Slapping is going kind of slowly there. But I mean, 7.8, 10 million, like, there's so much money coming in there. So much money coming in there. Let's have a little look. So we are now worth a significant amount of money. Shine Productions, 261. 261 million. Can we buy this yet? Nope. We are straight up going to have to buy the company. That- Oh god, someone's dead. Rest in peace. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Someone- You retired and only got 1,440? What? How did that work out? You were with us for 11 years as a team leader. What are we doing with employee benefits? Why don't they have, um... Do we not do a pension? I feel like we don't. 
I feel like maybe we don't. Severance pay. It's fine. Christmas bonus? No. Let's give everybody a nice company car, though. Let's get everybody the fancy company car that I have. Because I realize they're all driving the, uh... They're all driving that one. So let's get everybody the nice one. So that they can come in in sports cars. We've, we've, we've discovered the key to printing money, so I think we can afford this. Cannot deal with the load for distribution right now. That's fair enough. We just went up to 15 million on Pro Evolution slapping right there. And I'd like to point out, our distribution server is good. Like, it's really good. But right now, we're up to 49% uh, of the, the thing there. So, that's kind of, kind of nuts. Um, I'd have, I'm going to have to manually redo the distribution server, aren't I? That is, that is all sorts of crazy right there that we are uh, in this situation. So let me go ahead and just select everything in this room real quick. Uh, let me go to build mode so I can make it daytime so I can see what I'm doing. Let me duplicate everything in there. Let me anchor the grid to this first. So anchor the grid there, reset the grid, anchor it again. Um... Actually, no, we want to anchor it to the outside wall. So anchor it there, then duplicate everything, then align this like that. And then we want to do the same thing, but down this way. So anchor the grid to the outside wall, uh, duplicate the furniture that we're dealing with, rotate it that way and it goes there so then we select all of those servers we select all of those servers we select all of those servers and all of those ones we connect all of them together we stay paused and now the distro server has been doubled which is perfect we can also go ahead and paint all the servers to be, you know, like that with white sports. So that should be fine. And then I kind of like the idea of even selecting the rooms and just painting them a little bit differently because they are the same as everything else. So the room color, interior, we'll make it sort of a gray, but like maybe a dull kind of purplish color. The floors are going to be sort of a that color. So there we go. Server rooms are no longer somewhere that's nice and bright. They are a sort of darkish purple color. Which I think looks alright. I think that looks alright. So... 15 million, huh? 15 million on Pro Evo slapping. That is... That's so much money. That is so much money. So let's start looking at... Uh, oh, they're really not done with it. That's surprising, okay. Are we able to keep up with the... How many units have been sold? 3.5 million. There are 356,000 in stock. What is that going to go down to then? 374. Oh, we are actually going to run out of stock on that. Alright, let's start printing. Let's say... Can we not print enough? I feel like we can't print enough. 18 million just there. It's only going up, man. It's only going up. Oh, hold on. We just released Tripe Engine 4. All right. Hopefully, we'll actually do something with Tripe Engine 4. Because I can't help but feel that we haven't done all that much with it. I really can't help but feel that we haven't really done anything with Tripe Engine 4. Also, Slap 5. Is it making money? It isn't currently, but we are we are still working on the porting there. Uh, so 18 million, uh, 9 million. Let's look at top profits. Yeah, funny that. Funny that Pro Evo slapping got up there. And it's, you know, Mobile Quest 3 is catching it. That's, that's funny that, how that works out, huh? So Mobile Quest 3 just went up to 11 million. Pro Evo slapping... 19 million, Tripe Engine 2, 3.1 million, and we just released Tripe Engine 4, which came in with 7 million. Tripe Engine 4, by the way, 
not actually on every operating system just yet. I think we find a license to print money, is, is what I'm going to say. I also think that the time, the time has come to potentially buy out this company. Shine Productions, right? One of our biggest competitors, one of our biggest competitors, because they release, you know, the next Stop OS 6. We could buy them, but we've also got these guys who I believe do the X. And I believe they're all still queued up to have a December 2023 release for phone operating systems. Yeah, they are. I'm going to hold off on buying out those companies for one simple reason. Uh, that reason being that we have been working quite a bit on SOS 2. We haven't done amazing work with it because obviously we've been working on, on porting everything. But we have been, you know, getting SOS 2 along a little bit. And it's currently sitting as a 7.6 out of 10. So I'm curious to see what exactly we can do here. I'm also curious to see where Mobile Quest 3 goes to in terms of money here. 19 million in Pro Evo slapping. It's done selling. Like, it's not done selling. It's done being ported. There's nothing else left for it. 19 million. Accept and close. 22 million and 14 million on Mobile Quest. Tripe Engine 4 being ported to different mobile operating systems. 8 million. If we look at our total profits. It is now Mobile Quest 3 and Pro Evo slapping that are, that are those total profits. Slap 5, unfortunately, didn't do much with its porting. I'm genuinely in awe of this, though. Also, are the leaders back for the game teams yet? They are on vacation, but I believe they are now done with... Uh, No, you're not. Why are you not... Are you really on vacation? Right, right. So you've been enabled. There's now 51 people in games too. So I'm assuming that games number one will come back next month. I wasn't aware you could take vacation in December, but there you go. Slap 6 has been released. Is it good? It is only... Hold on. It is only good. We're, we, we still haven't put on anything great. That's so disappointing. That's so disappointing. Uh, but yeah, like, like I was saying, so... We're going to hold off and buying out our competitors until we see how SOS 2 does. Because we have set a release date of October 2023. So we might end up in a situation where... We don't really need to do much else. Also, Mobile Quest 3 isn't meeting demand. Uh, so that's... Oh my god, it's a five-year-old game. Uh, let's order half a million copies. And see how that goes. Also, how did uh, Slap 6 go? Didn't really make anything. That's a little disappointing that Slap 6 did nothing. Does it need ported? Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. We'll not we'll not stress too much about that. We'll we'll not stress too much about that. That's not that big a deal. Uh let's see here. Can we just get the porting finished on that real quick and then go back to working on SOS2? Because really, I just want SOS2 to be as good as it can possibly be. That's that's where I'm at here. Also, Manage Teams, Games 1, still only has one there. What is up with you? So, you're at work. Does that mean we can turn on HR? What do you mean? Why can't I turn on HR then? You have... Oh, you're not the leader. That's why. Right, okay. Leader, boom. Uh, HR management is now on, so that team should have 51 people. 
which means we can go into automatic development here. So, project management. This is the mobile, okay, hold up, uh, M-O-B-I-L-E, mobile quest thing. Uh, and this is gonna be, who? Alexis Peterson is gonna be leading this one. So, Alexis Peterson. Design is gonna be games one. Development is also games one. Secondary dev is games one. That could be the core team. Support team is obviously gonna be the support team. Pre-marketing is core and games one. Post-marketing is core and games one. Source control is main. Server is main. Dev time, 250%. It's a single IP. Handle marketing. Although I'm tempted to do that, but we should be okay. Maybe. We'll see. Physical copies, uh, 250%. And let's say 350%. So that's Mobile Quest as project management. Like Games 2 is led by Millard Hoffman. So this is Pro Evo Slapping. Millard Hoffman. And it's games number two. Man, I love I do love this stage of Software Inc. I really do. I love the uh let's see here. Support team is support. I do love the the the, the kind of management side of this. I love sort of setting up the automated systems. I, I really just enjoy it. It's really satisfying sort of getting to this point of the game. Uh what do we do? 250? We'll do 250. It's a single IP. Handle marketing, uh, 250%, 350%, and 350 and go. I do, I do just really enjoy this side of the game. I, I think it's really fun, like, automating stuff like this. Uh, so then we go in with a game, which is going to be using Tripe Engine 4. Which I guess can, yeah, it can go in all of those. So I guess we'll put this on everything, that's fine. And this is gonna be sports. This is going to be Pro Evolution Slapping 2, I guess. 3D Editor can be Cinema Maker 4. Audio Tool can be Wave Pause 5. And that's fine. Um, I like the idea of local multiplayer, mod sport. Maybe an MMO, I don't know. Sure, it's a, a massively multiplayer sports game. Let's make it like 40 flat. And let's give it to Pro Evo Slapping. So that's that. As for Mobile Quest, it is an RPG, which is good. Uh, it is gonna have mod support. It's gonna have advanced input this time, because that's the only things it didn't have before. And it's gonna run on Tripe Engine 4. It is gonna use Cinema Maker 4, and is also gonna use Wave Pause 5. It actually isn't worth that much, which is surprising. We'll say 20 flat. We'll say it's going to run on... Ooh. That's interesting. It can only go on consoles. Why is that? Is it the advanced input? It seems to have been, yeah. Okay, let's be very careful with what this goes on. That's potentially going to limit the number of sales, but that's gonna have to be that. Is it mod support? No, it wasn't mod support. It must have been the advanced input. Let's, hold on. Uh, reset all of that. Let's, no, let's just select all, right? That'll be fine. Set the price to whatever it needs to be. It's gonna be on the, the main server. I guess that's fine. Mobile Quest 4. Give it to the Mobile Quest guys. Let's see what happens to it. I'm curious. I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens with it. Hopefully good things. Hopefully some very, very good things. Otherwise, I'm going to be really, really disappointed. Anyway, let's see here. Let's see here. Another 10 million, 15 million, 2 million. What are we looking at across the board? Uh, recent releases. Not much. Good amount. Very good amount. Amazing amount. 2.4 million on something that's almost seven years old. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. 
I'll tell you what though, ladies and gents, let's get another review in on SOS 2 and then I think it'll be time to push it into beta. I think at this point pushing SOS 2 into beta is, yeah, 7.9, that's fine. So, promote into beta. And let's just let them sit, you know, for over a year fixing the bugs. Over a year. Because I reckon we can do good stuff with SOS 2. Especially since we're looking at undermining the competition with it. Especially with that in mind. Which, I'm going to be honest, has me very excited. I'm very, very keen to undermine the competition. Very, very keen. Also, let me just look. I want to look at our charts if we can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something tells me that's maybe where uh, where the money started going a bit nuts there. That's that's most likely what that was. Which is fun. I do love looking at the chart though, because you go from like where the company started and it was just losing money, losing money, losing money for years, right? For years it was just losing money. Then it was just a little bit of a trickle. A little bit of a trickle, and it just started started working. I mean, if we look at our releases, you know, Slapple Network, first thing we did, made no money. No money at all. And then along came Mobile Quest. You know, the original Mobile Quest. And then Slap. You know, we came in with Slap, the antivirus. But I mean, we spent four years doing Slapple Network, right? Four years of contract work to stay afloat, only for it to completely flop. And then we had to turn around Mobile Quest a year later, and it worked. And now look at us, you know? Trying to sell off almost like seven-year-old games as new and actually succeeding. Slapple's an interesting company. I think, honestly, and I, I can say this genuinely, I think Slapple is the most interesting company we've had in any of the software series that we've done. I definitely feel like it's the most interesting company we've had. I don't think I've ever managed to make like 11 million profit in, in a month on something that's like seven years old. I don't think we've ever managed to do that. Not in a game. And we've done it on two games as well, you know? Oh, there we go. Pro Evolution slapping dropped off. I don't think we've ever managed to do that. And again, we look at the profits. Like, that's that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to leave it there for today. We're going to be sitting on SOS 2 for a while. We are going to be sitting on that for a while. Uh, currently looking at 2022 for Slapple Sites 2. Looking at 2024 for Slap 7. 2023 for Slap for Gold 4. We're looking at 2027 for Tripe Engine 5. And then Mobile Quest 4 doesn't have a date yet. And Pro Evo Slapping 2 doesn't it's not even being worked on yet not even being worked on yet but i'm actually curious to see how they go with the uh with hr management i'm actually also curious to look at tripe engine because we didn't did we do any we didn't do anything with tripe engine 3 and it still made money hold on let me be really cheeky here um Tripe Engine 3, I mean, yeah, it didn't, it didn't make much, but let's, let's, uh, it made a good bit, but it didn't have anything on it. Let's port it to anything with users. Because it's, what, it's a couple of years old at this point? It's not selling anything else at this point, so why not? Uh, anything else we can port that's a bit older? Not really. The original Mobile Quest, I would love to port that, but I don't think there's anything that I can port it to. No, because we don't own the We don't own the, the game engine that was it was it was built on, do we? 
So we'd have to buy the game engine. Is that a, hold on? Is that a thing we can do? I know I said we were going to wrap up, but I'm actually curious. Uh, it uses the bit engine. So the bit engine is here. Find the owner. That's going to be Fly Studio. Can we? We could buy Fly Studio to be honest. Um, but the bit engine. They only ever made that. Interesting. Can we buy that? 6,000? Yeah, we'll buy that. Okay, so we got the bit engine, which we can now look at. We can port. And we are going to port the bit engine to everything with users. So anything that has users will port the bit engine to that. And that's fine. So we'll do that. We'll make that a priority. And we'll lower the priority of this, because we don't need to worry about that. But if we can get the bit engine to all these different operating systems, we can port the original mobile quest to modern systems. And it would be hilarious if it wound up making a shed load of cash. To be honest. That would be really, really, really funny, actually. I'd love to see that. Um, let's have a little look here. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not... It's not like it's going to sell anything. Does it have any units in stock? No. All right, let's order like 150,000 units of the bit engine. Just in case. We're not going to market it, but I'm curious. That's literally it. I'm just really, really curious to see what happens. But we're going to have to wait until next time. Ladies and gents, that is going to be it for today. Thank you kindly for watching. This has been Software Inc. and the Slapple Corporation part, whatever it is. It's been my pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.